Hey there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we do like to dive into some gaming news from time to time and we're going to be talking about the biggest game in recent months, Helldivers 2. It's completely overtaken the gaming industry. This game has sold like hotcakes. And when I say hotcakes, I mean hotcakes. <laughs> so we're going to dive into the story and see what's going on with the sales figures and uh, how Helldivers has become the global success that we all know and love. I can't get enough of this game. I play it all the time. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I think it's absolutely fantastic. This kind of fresh take on being a hell diver and using all these stratagems to blow up bugs and robots. I just think it's such a fun game. And uh, let's dive in and talk about it. So this comes to us from Comic Flick News. So PlayStation's fastest selling game ever, Helldivers 2 now dominates. Fastest selling PlayStation game ever. What? <laughs> That's absolutely just bananas bananas like the fruit bananas you know what i'm talking about and uh yeah <laughs> so playstation's newest sensation helldivers 2 has shattered records with its unprecedented sales numbers within just 12 weeks of its launch on playstation 5 and pc this february the co-op uh, pve shooter has stormed past expectations becoming the fastest selling game in playstation history i'll repeat that just in case you missed it becoming the fastest selling game in playstation history like, there's no other kind of moniker or title that you would want for your game as a developer other than that. The fastest selling game, uh, PlayStation game, I should say, in history. Wow. That's just, you think of all the games that this has beaten on sales records. Like, that just boggles my mind. Absolutely. So during today's investor call, Sony proudly revealed that Helldivers 2 has exceeded a staggering 12 million copies sold worldwide. This remarkable milestone, achieved on May 5th, 2024, firmly establishes Helldivers 2 as a powerhouse in the gaming world, outstripping even the acclaimed God of War Ragnarok. Just think about that for a second, guys. This game, a small game that just came out of nowhere, even the developers, right, they were so surprised at how successful this game was. You remember in the first week, we just overloaded the servers because they weren't expecting the amount of people to be playing the game, and the servers just kind of blew up. But the fact this game has beaten sales on God of War Ragnarok. You think of how prestigious God of War that series is. Absolutely. When it comes to gaming, it's an absolute masterpiece. It's like the Picasso of kind of gaming, God of War, the series. I mean, it's just a masterpiece. And the fact that this game has outsold it, I like my head's going to just, yeah. So uh, Sony Santa Monica's God of War Ragnarok uh, lauded for its immense success reached 5 million sales in its debut week and 11 million within 75 days of its launch on PS4 and PS5 in November 2022. Helldivers 2 Rise surpasses these figures, cementing its status as a gaming phenomenon. I just, like, I know we just, I literally just talked about it, but the fact that this game beat a God of War, um, you know, a God of War game on PlayStation, just, I, I don't even know what to say. It's incredible. Absolutely incredible. But then again, this game is fresh, it's new, it's exciting. It's something we haven't seen before. This, you know, being this kind of badass hell diver on a planet, you know, squishing bugs and, you know, you have all these crazy weapons, machine guns, explosives, you have these starships and just everything about it is so fresh and different and there's nothing like it on the market that anybody's seen. So um, I understand why it sold so well. Furthermore, Sony confirmed that Helldivers 2 now stands as the company's most successful PC title ever, further solidifying its position as a force to be reckoned with across platforms. Although there's still no crossplay yet, and a lot of people are annoyed about that. I understand why. Um, in the wake of this monumental achievement, uh, Joan Pilstedt, uh, CEO of Arrowhead Studios, the mastermind behind Helldivers 2, took to social media to express his jubilation, marking a proud moment for the team and the gaming community at large. So the CEO of Arrowhead said this, what a massive achievement from everyone involved in realizing Helldivers 2. Um, the CEO of Arrowhead wrote on Twitter, a massive thank you to the community for your support, passion, and dedication in the fight for democracy. We really, I can't wait to see where they're going to take this game as a live service. I mean, the guy, he kind of plays like the battle master in the background where he's manipulating the strings. You know, he kind of decides which planets we have to defend, which planets we have to attack. You know, all the different major orders within the game that 
you know, the players have to come together to fulfill a common goal, whether it's defense, whether it's attacking. And it's so fun to have the game updated constantly, not knowing, you know, what planet's going to be attacked, what planet's going to have to be defended. New weapons are making their way into the game. If you complete a major order or like a campaign mission, then we unlock new weapons as a community. So kind of banding together as a community and having that community where we're encouraging each other to complete missions to get new weapons and new gear. It's just so fun and it adds to the adds to the essence of the game, that community spirit around what they've created. So uh, from the Arrowhead uh, CEO, I don't know how to say this name, so I'm just going to call him the CEO of Arrowhead. <laughs> so um, obviously we've got the actual Twitter. Let's go on to the Twitter post here and just take a look at it quickly. So as announced in the so Sony earning call, we have sold over 12 million units. It's crazy to think that there are more Helldivers than there are Swedes. <laughs> That's actually insane. Like, when you put it in that perspective, that's crazy. What a massive achievement for everyone involved in realizing Helldivers 2. A massive thank you to the community for your support, passion, and dedication uh, in the fight for democracy. All love. Um, technically, that makes Helldivers the largest active military in the world. <laughs> People's Republic of China has uh, 2 million and 35,000 active military. And us as Helldivers, we have 11 million. Even though it's a virtual army. So having a virtual army against a real army doesn't really work. Uh, I don't think it works like that. So uh, yeah, but I get what this guy's saying. Just from a fun perspective, that's crazy to think about. Um, Just waiting for that wiki to be updated. <laughs> Could you imagine if they actually put Helldivers there? Like, like 12 million Helldivers. That would be insane. But yeah, guys, that's kind of the post uh, from the Arrowhead CEO there, just letting us know about the record sales numbers. So impressive indeed, with 12 million soldiers enlisted in the ranks of Helldivers 2, it boasts the largest active military in the world. The game's success has not only set records, but also significantly bolstered Sony sales and profit margins in the last quarter. Although Sony have got a lot of making up to do after the whole... Um, PlayStation Network linkage and then delisting it in loads of countries. But it's crazy that the community banded together and they managed to push back Sony and get the whole PlayStation Network kind of um, fiasco that was kind of put behind us. So we just have to wait and see, you know, if the delisted countries actually come back to being active Helldivers. I don't believe that the countries that ha that were delisted are yet enlisted again yet. So we'll have to, we'll kind of have to see how that plays out. According to Sony, Helldivers 2 uh, played a pivotal role in driving up the number of monthly active users on PlayStation to a staggering 118 million, marking a remarkable 9% increase year over year. A staggering 118 million active users on PlayStation. That's incredible. A 9% increase. So moreover, March witnessed a notable 15% surge in the total playtime on PlayStation compared to the previous year. That's incredible. Just from this one game, a 9% increase year over year and a 15% surge in the total playtime. Just from this one game. That just... There's no other words to describe it. I'm, I'm literally running out of words to describe what's going on here. So, uh, the fourth quarter, culminating in March uh, 31st, 2024, saw the second highest total playtime in Sony's history, trailing only behind the pandemic-fueled surge of uh, the fiscal year of 2020. Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, the pandemic era when everyone was at home and they had nothing to do but, you know, to kind of sit in their underwear and play games all day. Absolutely, you know, that number during the pandemic of playtime is going to be massive. So um, I wouldn't expect this game to kind of top that. So, uh yeah, uh, culminating the second highest total playtime in Sony's history, trailing behind the pandemic fueled surge. Yeah, like I said, you know, during the pandemic, there's nothing else to do. People are playing video games all day. So that playtime would be absolutely massive. So I, I wouldn't expect um, Helldivers to be able to beat that. However, the success wasn't without its share of controversies. Arrowhead and PlayStation clashed over the requirement for PC players to link their Steam account to a PlayStation network. That was insane how that story just blew up. I remember logging on Twitter one day and then there was a couple of people posting about it. And then the next day I woke up and it was like everywhere. This whole topic of PlayStation Network just exploded and it just went crazy. And the rest is history. We pushed back Sony and they've managed to, uh, you know, allow us to continue our hell diving without having to link our PlayStation Network accounts without signing up to them, I should say. But um, although Sony, as the owner of Helldivers IP, initially stood firm, the decision was eventually reversed after backlash from the game's player base, resulting in a significant wave of negative reviews. Yeah, the fact that everybody just negatively uh, review bombed the crap out of this game on Steam. But then once we pushed back Sony and their decision to link PSM was reversed, everyone went back on and in a show of good faith kind of reversed 
their reviews back to positive ones. So yeah, you know, the community um, kind of rallied behind each other and it was great to see that everybody stuck up for each other and uh, we can get great things done when that happens. So we have a great uh, video here, 50 advanced tips. So if you're a hell diver, a fellow hell diver like myself and like many of us, and you want some tips, Guys, if you look at this video here, you have 50 plus advanced tips to be a better hell diver. And I mean, who doesn't want to be a better hell diver? Who doesn't want to spread democracy even more? So you can check out this video. It's not my video. It's just someone's video from YouTube. And uh, it's a great video. So I recommend checking it out if you want to become a better hell diver. Uh, despite these hurdles, Helldivers 2 continues to thrive, available for purchase on PlayStation and PC at the start of $40. Yeah, the fact that this game blew up as well, I think the price point has a lot to do with that. Most games that are coming out now, you know, like we've just had the reveal of Assassin's Creed Shadows. The base game is $70, which is ridiculous in my opinion. This game only costs $40, so it's nearly half the price. And yeah, it's probably going to be double the amount of fun as well. And uh, yeah, the price point had a lot to do with the sales records of this game. The fact that it's only $40 and it's one of the most incredible games I've ever played in my entire life. Yes, I am sounding like a fanboy and I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but yeah, guys, so that's kind of where we are. So the sales, you know, 12 million copies worldwide. It beat out God of War Ragnarok, which is insane. And um, I mean, what more can we say about it? I mean, it, it bolstered PlayStation's playtime on their PlayStation Network. A 15% surge in total playtime, um, a 9% increase year over year, which is just insane. And uh, I've run out of words how to describe this story. <laughs> but you get the picture, guys. So are you a hell diver? Do you enjoy this game or do you think this game's trash? Jump into the comment section. Let me know what you think of this overall story. Did you expect hell divers to become this popular? Do you continue to play the game? What do you think about everything that's going on? And uh, let me know just all your thoughts about this story. And if you're a hell diver, are you enjoying the game? What improvements do you think they should make going forward? Any thoughts and opinions that you have regarding hell divers and this story? I'd love to hear it, guys. So yeah, guys, there we are. I really do appreciate you being here. Hit that like and subscribe for more of these videos. If you enjoy my content, that would really go a long way to helping me out. And I will see you in the next one.